So in three words, what does campus mean to us? Fun. Learning. And most importantly, the origin of our story. What is the origin of your love story? We started, um, but I, uh, we started dating after, um, before we joined. <laughs> so I met Wanjiru after Form 4. Um, now your time, I was like, but like, see, see, like, I was like, like, I was like, so like I kinda nilikuwa tu bado natuma message bado unalenga unatoa bado bado you're still not serious then when we went to Kenyatta University I met her again kwa hizo registration now in KU you register for like four weeks my friend you know like every day you're just registering for a new unit you know like something new you're yeah, registering maze. for so katika hizo harakati za kutembea tembea I, I, I met her again and she was like whoa this is a glow up but she was dating somebody else and I was also dating somebody else uh, so, you know, I'm a, I'm a man of respect. Because you know what, I don't want to destroy their shoe business. I don't want to destroy their... <laughs> there could be something there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I might be killing the future of Africa here, you know? So I was like, you know what, I'm not, I'm not, going, to, I'm not going to spoil it. So we just became homies for a couple of... of, of throughout, throughout uni, actually. Yeah. We used to go to lunch almost every day. Mm -hmm. Until at some point she got a warning from her partner in the shoe business. <laughs> That, that, My business partner. That you I'll send you to the socks department. No touch. I'm going to get it. So it even got to a point where we stopped. We had to. We had to like stop uh, meeting too much because of uh, because of jealousy. You know what? It was insecure. Now, Akko. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, like on a poison my warning, and so we kind of left it off. But towards the end of 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 the of the of the of the of uni of, of, of uni. I found her struggling. She was somewhere crying, just trying to 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 discover and to 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 discover herself on the YouTube space. I was like, young girl, cry no more. Come, <laughs> lean on my shoulder. <laughs> I shall help you. Hold my hand, you know. <laughs> and let me help you through this struggle. And and then that's how we started because I started by shooting for her her YouTube content. I used to shoot it with my Samsung J5. J5. At that time, the Samsung J5 was like something, you know? Mm. It had like five megapixels, you know? I pixel late, I was watching the FM. It was good, it was good. Are those videos on YouTube? I think they are. You, yeah. should, you should never remove those yeah. videos on YouTube. You should never remove those videos on YouTube. <laughs> So that's how we started. Uh, uh, our You're correct. Story. You're what correct. about your version of the story? I think it's the same thing. Um, we, after like the four years where we had been really close friends, um, and also we shared like in the we were in the same group of mutual friends. Yeah. There's even a bunch of the people who came from Excans where we met mm. also came to KU. So we would find ourselves interacting so much. Yeah. But then now after the four years we found ourselves like our relationships had ended almost the same time. Mm. Um and I think there had been something but nobody was ever but there was never the right time to explore it. Yeah. And I think after uni presented itself and we were yeah. like, what the heck, let's just yeah. see where this could go. Yeah. What Wanjiri is also not telling you is that in between what them nilikuwa na who them nilikuwa na date ali nicheza at some point and guess who was my shoulder to lean on? Wanjiri was always like, Wanjiri was always like, ah, uko shuwa ntakurudi ya udem? So basically, kwa na jua, I'm being hunted. I was watching, I was looking out for you. I was looking out for you. Oh, really, really? Yeah. We decided to do the campus tour because we wanted to be able to engage with our audience, the younger, um, the younger people in our audience demographic. Um, and unfortunately, because of the realities of the political climate we live in, we have to be able to get something done before August the 9th, unfortunately. Um, sponsors aren't paying for anything after that and very few are even paying for things um, as we are getting as we're getting to the planning of this. So we want to be able to do something and so the campus aspect sort of worked well because it was a short time frame. And um, yeah, so when Newton reached out from Daystar, Newton as governor at Daystar reached out about possibly doing something with them, 
we came up with a strategy because initially the plan was to just to be quiet until September. So this filled the gap um, between now and September and um, it's all, I think it's gonna work out great. Uh, my name is Nton Gidje Kamoyo. I'm a second year communication student. I'm doing a major in public relation and I'm in community development. Apart from that, I'm also a student leader here in this university. I'm the governor for Valley Road Campus, this university. Uh, so this all came about when I personally sent an email to Jared, but it wasn't responded to so to CC Wanjiro and Ben for them to respond to the email, and that's when Bala called me and the event started and they came up with the idea of the workshop, the campus edition tour, which I had not thought about, which was a brilliant idea. So the main reason why I wanted to partner with Jared on this event is because, first of all, uh, Ben and Wanjiro are influential people and they have been doing their Jared podcast, which I feel like most young people and most youth connect to. Their topics are those that actually help and, you know, put substance in our young, to the, uh, our, 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 uh, the young generation and most, most of them are our students, the majority of them. And uh, personally, I love how they work and their work ethics is just on the top, so it was an honor partnering with them. Doing hard things is doing the thing that makes you become the best version of yourself. It's having a growth mindset, being committed, and absolutely committing to doing the thing that makes you become exactly who you're supposed to be. So, do you think like the Jared Campus Edition is a hard thing? Hey, this is one of the hardest things. What do you mean? But see, it's campus. <laughs> We've done but you see it's not just campus Ben. we are back to nairobi cinema mm. and i know i thought my idea was that we would have a smaller number of people a smaller budget a smaller hall yeah i thought it would be like 40 people yeah <laughs> and then now it's just and on top of the live we're doing we're, we're going to be doing the campus uh, the joyride uh, workshop creative yeah. workshops which is where we go to universities and talk to them about creating a career in content creation, monetizing your audience, just how to earn revenue. Yeah. The one thing with Wasawa Kampo, ni always do ni nini wapenda ni nini wapendi. So you don't even, I'm not even sure, and you see this is not like a concert concert, this is a talking engagement. And you see, on top of that, we're doing it back to back. So I think on the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, and then 16th is the live experience. So it's just like a week. A week of torture. Of chaos. A week of. And being stretched, mm. being stretched. Yeah, so that's Barak definitely. Likes to say, dig deep. Yeah. Dig, find Guys, I want you to go to that deep place <laughs> and channel that energy. Yeah. So. <laughs> you so see us say yeah. Deep yeah. Deep. So. <laughs> so like, I know this is a hard thing, but we're willing to do it anyway. Yeah. This is the only way people grow by people grow by hard things. So watch out how it will go down. I hope we've grown from Nairobi. Uh, Nairobi, Nairobi cinema. cinema. Mm. Oh, definitely. And like this one will be like. Definitely, definitely. I'm hopeful. Yeah. I'm very hopeful. My name is Winnie and I currently work for ALX Africa. At ALX, we are a career accelerator that purposes to empower young people to launch and grow their careers in whatever they want to pursue. We are on a mission to empower 2 million young Africans on the continent to get into dignified jobs by the year 2030. And this year we've decided to do hard things and partner up with Joyride, who are an amazing collab of by Wanjiro Njiro and Ben Psycho. And we've decided to do the hard thing and to bring ALX to you, the people, together with the amazing content and the amazing people at Joyride. Raha Osodo. I'm from Strathmore University and I'm doing Bachelor of Commerce. So today the Joyride Creative Workshop was here at Strathmore and it was amazing and we had Banjirunjiro and Ben Saiko and Nyawira and they gave us so many insights about their career path and we're able to learn so much what happens in the creative industry, their content, their different streams of you know how they've been able to expound their content creation path and that has been amazing. 
So we've just concluded our first campus edition at Strathmore University. It's been super exciting as ALX. We've loved seeing the engagement with the Strathmore University students. The energy, the attendance has been amazing. We really can't wait to hit all the other campuses and finally the live experience on the 16th. Super excited. So this Saturday, um, I'm looking forward to another great journey. I don't journey. think you're being 100% honest. About? How exhausted you are. Like I'm, I'm not like as exhausted as you, like I want to collapse like, like, right I now. I really like, want to collapse right now. You know, we've, yesterday, we were, we shot off all of Monday. Monday was a public holiday, right? We were shooting. Mm. Then Tuesday, so the previous week I had COVID. Then Monday, we mm. started shooting. COVID. <laughs> We started shooting mm. the entire day. Tuesday, we Strathmore. Strathmore. We left the place at, at around 8 30. 30 because apparently they closed the gates at 8 30 for cars. Yeah. Mm. When you get home, the, we had to make dinner. We had to make sure all the footage gets to selfie. Yeah. Before we sleep. We mm -hmm. ended up sleeping at midnight. Mm. Before we were up. Before we were up because we had a talk also as State House girl. Yeah. And then Nelikua Norma. And then now afternoon we were Daystar. And I'm then you are robot. And then now tomorrow we have Riara. Riara. I don't know man. Like isn't it really that time? Yeah, I'm I'm spent. I'm spent. I'm spent. Iku kula. Kulangi poa. Uki bonya fiti. You be I. Were you nervous? Introducing you to my mom. Mm. Uh I was on my way to moving out, so the stakes were not that high. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in Genda too, you look on a hammer, so you get quite poor. Yeah, I think for me it was when did you introduce you? Yeah. When did I introduce you to my dad? Um, I think I was from an. Yeah. You remember? No. I, I remember the tension. It was from I was from a night. I was working at like a night shift, a place that had a night shift. So on that day. Um, I wasn't going to work, so I was resting. I had just come from a night shift, so I was resting. And then Ben came to see me at home. Yeah. And then my parents just came in. They were coming back home. And they met this guy just seated there. And I was like, this is Ben, my friend. And <laughs> <laughs> the rest is history. <laughs> wait, wait. Had you ever introduced other guys to your dad? Yes. Oh, well, That's why I wasn't nervous. Was the first. No, I didn't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wasn't nervous. You know, I, I was I was so nervous. I was ready because my mini fundi was steaming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the wiring here is nice, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Robert. <laughs> I'm from the University of Nairobi doing Bachelor of Education in ICT. Today I've attended the creative workshop here at UN and I'm so pleased to have attended the workshop. It was so insightful, so educating and a, a huge thanks to Anjiru and Ben for having this platform for upcoming content creators like us to be able to learn and maneuver our way through the space. So. Yes, I hope you join next time. So this is the final day. We just finished the Jared Creative Workshop at uh, University of Nairobi. Now this has been the, a, the, University. the University of Nairobi, and this has been an amazing experience because we've trained almost 500, around 400 people, 400 have people attended yeah. this workshop just to be trained about content creation and the creative Across four days. economy. But today we had something different happening. What was that? So we didn't know the. The University of Nairobi is not in session. <laughs> yeah. So to kajilera tu apa kama we are coming to equip mm. the young students over at Nairobi University. Mm. So we walk into the hall. First of all, it was changed at like five minutes to the gig. Yeah, from Chandaria. I remember. I think I saw Bart's message that we are moving halls. Mm. Um, at Muthaiga, mm. and we weren't speaking at that time. Mm. So it was 
Okay, well, I didn't tell you. Sindio. Yeah, you didn't tell me. I yeah. mean, find so out you find out <laughs> But I was driving. Sibasi, so we kifika. Anyway, yeah. And then it was I came I just saw one person. I was ready just to go home. I was ready to one. I was ready <laughs> to live off the success of Strathmore. Um, Desta and Riara. I was never going to talk about you and online. <laughs> yeah. But then again, what really humbled us? Because you know, the guys who came were around 60, mm. 60, 70. But afterwards is when they told us that what they were talking about. Because school is not in session. Because the, sco- the school is not I actually had one person mm. who came from KU. Mm. And she said she, because we were not going to KU, yeah. this is the only place she could come. So yeah. she came straight. Yeah. And I think we need to do something for KU. Like a homecoming. We complain, Sana, we need to do something for Such KU. Such to annex. Annex? <laughs> something theater? What do you mean? I'm a business center. Yeah, so it's been an amazing uh, session. Just talking to people about how to grow their, their brand. Mm. It's just really awesome. And the questions that they get to ask you. I also learned so many things from our own audiences. Like, most of them are on Snapchat. Mm. Um, very few of them are on Facebook. Yeah, like we were just taking pictures mm. and I see people choosing filters. I'm yeah, like, on Snapchat, they're like, which is your favorite? Um, <laughs> supplements. <laughs> so, that. But that was an awesome, awesome experience. So we're looking forward to tomorrow. This is the final day. You don't have your outfit. You end up with a new one. You don't have a shoe. You don't have a shoe. You don't have a leather. You buy it. So shopping different so, places. It's crazy. So Zanguni one time. Mine is not so complicated. But looking forward to tomorrow. Let's yeah. see how tomorrow turns out to be. See. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Only one person alikuwa na maswara and nice. that's you. Who me? Sili ulianguka kwa bed. Sili uniongelesh there's no way. I can't believe that you told every, I can't believe you told everyone that story. So siko went to Justin's place. Justin is our director. So he had forgotten some footage on Kampeleke. And then I spent a lot of time with his dog just playing. And then usiku I'm not dreaming about dogs. Like at one point I was beaten by a dog. So I think ni kihepa I got physically and I fell from the bed to the ground. So I woke up so so confused. And I can't believe and I can't believe the one, I can't I can't believe when Zero told everyone in the team that story. And then you proceed to tell everyone on the documentary. <laughs> oh, this is number one for once. What's the most important lesson being in university taught you? Oh, I think the most important lesson being in uh, being in university, especially public uni, is just how to maneuver through life. Like you have to make the most with the least. That mm-hmm. also includes your time. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only time you have, if you have to still push a song, you know, you know we had a song called like some more that was just banging all over. You, I don't know if you guys remember that song. Like, Baba, eh, give me some more. Baraka, eh, give me some more. So you know, imagine any metoyo song. Munafakuwa radio citizen, mkoko munakimbizana pia na diamond kwa chats. Alafu, you know, those were the days. <laughs> those were the days when you are... Those were the, kids. Yeah, those were the days when your song is on the countdown. Like, you, like I even used to have WhatsApp group. Well, what, I don't know if it was WhatsApp group. But I would have a lot of people on my phone book, like a hundred people that are text every day. Like, hey, Nyaje, mm. this is the drive show. Please text Radio Jambo and beer. Please play me some more by, ben, by Christ Cycles, you know. And we did that for long. Mm. Until some of these people started recognizing us. And they started thinking we were really big, but Kumbe, our iso request zote, ni mimi tu ni me request to other people, to other accounts. So, so at the same time as you push this music, you still have to be in school and you still have to perform just like any other person. So, one of the things that he taught me is how to balance. And even the money that we'd get from music, we never used to really use it on our lives because the next video shoot in Akukoje, I'm to a poster and I shenda kikupigia um to me 1500 yake, you know? And so that's one of the things that I'd say university taught me grit and just how to make the most with the least. Yeah. Yeah. I think for me it's the importance of relationships. I say this over and over again. Some of my closest relationships and even relationships that have opened doors for me right now yeah. are people that I met in uni. And I hold that very, very dear to me. Even this relationship was yeah. formed in uni. University. So I think it's that power of relationships. Uh, so my name is Morioki Kagiri, or the Dapper Brother. I'm a content creator and a friend to Ben and Wanjiro for the longest time. I think I've known Ben since 2007, um, on the first day of high school, that's when, when we actually met. And, and funny enough, I came to learn that his mom was actually my nursery school teacher. So um, guys actually thought that we were brothers because we, we look kind of alike. Um, but then we literally grew to be more, you know, more family than friends. 
um, also did music with Ben uh, Christ Cycles from 2010 to 2015 and you know just seeing his growth into into the metamorphosis he's gone through rather um, from creating music to going into um, podcasting, content creation, to now, you know, doing TV. Um, knowing him, this is something that he has really um, wanted to do all his life. I've also known Wanjiru since 2011, back when they used to call each other best friends, but uh, <laughs> the background, we knew that, um, yeah, this, th this is not happening, you know. Um, and just seeing them, you know, for, from really diverse backgrounds and really diverse, um, say, it, with really diverse interests, just seeing them grow this platform together has been really something amazing to, to witness. And I came here today for the creative uh, workshop at the University of Nairobi, and I really loved the information that they were sharing, you know, on the dynamics of the industry, on how, you know, how the, whatever it is that they studied in school, how they were able to transfer those skills into their creative industry as well. And I feel like, especially for this younger generation, you know, um, it's important for you to have this information, yeah? This is information that I had to learn through experience. If I had, um, you know, if I had a, a place where I could get this information from, I'd really be in a more better place than I am right now. So Ben and Anjiru, thank you for doing this. I've, ah, it's amazing. So it's been a great four days at across different universities for this creative workshop. Now, to be honest, when I heard that they're doing a creative workshop, I thought they were going to be doing a creative workshop with a touch of love and other stories. But then they've been so authentic and just listening to Shiro and Ben share their lessons and their teachings about the industry and their journey throughout it was really, really cool. Began with Strathmore, such decorum, like this guy is such well, so well put together. And then we went to Daystar that had so much energy in a room. And then we went to Riara University, which was just a different experience for us all. And finally, an Arab University where it was such a, the Arab University, it was such an honor to just hear from people and just learn from these guys. Um, yeah, I think the biggest success that I have seen from these two has been their innate ability to just be consistent in this craft. I think seeing where Ben began, where Shiro began, um, and seeing who they become now is such a big, big, big thing to celebrate. And to be part of it is such an honor, to be honest. Um, now I am nervous about tomorrow, to be honest. I'm very, very nervous. You know, I was sharing with Barak earlier, I think earlier this week, about how the other day I woke up in the night with like a sweat, like, guy, it's more than 600 people. And you know, you get so used to talking to smaller rooms and then you go like, hey, yeah, 600 people is many people. And so I'm looking forward to tomorrow, to be honest. But even from a place of a bit of nerves, because it's a big thing. This is the second biggest, um, second joyride joy live experience. And I know it's going to be bigger because ALX have partnered. And so more guys are coming. So I'm even more anxious. So I hope I don't drop the ball. And if I do, I hope they don't tell me. So yeah, till next time, keep it joy right. And I feel like I'm talking like the way I end all these talks is that make sure you subscribe to the platform, make sure you follow them, make sure you talk to them. They're really real people out there. So yeah, I love the joy ride. On, on Jared's podcast, it's a story. Uh, uh, guys also sent you some mm -hmm. very cute messages. Mm -hmm. Guys have been sending me very cute messages, even from the trolling. You know? yeah. By the way, um, the, there was a time, a few guys. Uh, when we addressed it in the last documentary, uh, and now leading up to this one, mm -hmm. um, it just feels. It feels like good. Mm. This is how you usually feel, like when everyone just loves you. It, it feels like a big you. hug. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like a big hug from people in yeah. every corner. So from on the right, someone is hugging you. From, oh, from mm. the left, someone is hugging you. From mm. the front, somebody is hugging you. From the so it just feels like a big group hug mm. from different people, mm. and I'm so grateful for that. Yeah, yeah. I the finally understand what it means to have a community online, because mm. that's I think that's what Joyride has given me. 
You know, for every troll, mm -hmm. there are like a hundred people who, who who love you. I never used who, to see it like who that. Are really, really willing to to vibe with you. Yeah, and I just want to say a special thank you to everyone who took their time mm. to send a message, to encourage me, mm. to say they relate, mm. to come at those trolls also. Because mm. mm. you guys are my favorites. Come on, all on our attack. Because they're my favorite. Not to promote any kind of violence online. <laughs> But hey, yeah. it's a free internet. <laughs> it's a free internet. Use it to destroy bullies. <laughs> no, I'm joking, but thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. As I said, it feels like mm. a big group mm. hug and I've felt really mm. warm and yeah. fuzzy. As you should, man. Yeah. Yes, I've also made my made my work easier, so I wanna appreciate you. Mazeni liko na shindango huku kama motivational speaker. Adi niliko na lala na kaleka maika apa. Kaleka joy rate. Yeah, just in case it happens, nikio ni melala. Let me tell you, repeat after me, I am a champion. <laughs> Uh, so thank you so much guys um but <laughs> whatsapp ile masazake then we share something small mm, thank you Your host for today. Some of you call her Miss Understood. Show your love for the one, the only, Nyawera Kashugi. So I felt like after last time, like things are gonna get easier. Like I just be walking in, go on stage, no nerves. But the nerves are always there because I feel like it's a sense of responsibility upon the creator to ensure that people are entertained. So, I don't know man, if I, if I walk out halfway, you can finish your show? No. So, yeah, let's just see what today entails. I know it's going to be a good show. I'm hopeful we're going to have performances in the end, and so that's what's up. Let's see. Um, I'm feeling nervous. I don't even know why I have to do this before I go to the show. I just want to be calm. Um, and see people. I think I'll relax once I get onto the stage. How different is it from Nairobi cinema? I, I think I was, I think for Nairobi cinema we were still doing press until the last minute. So it's, it's interesting that now I'm just by my, we're just by ourselves, just chill. Just to think about all those people and what we're going to tell them. I have nothing. I have nothing. I'm just here for the vibes. So the Joyride Live Experience Campus Edition is now available. <laughs> is now available on shaharavideos.com, or you just check the description. Of, I can't, you just let me finish, or just look at the, the description box below. There is a link. Click, and you're gonna get the episode there. <laughs> it's just 200 bob. Thank you so much. My name is Kennedy Odiambo Owondo. I studied at Machakos University where I did become in finance. Uh, today I'm a testimony uh, of a, a very a good group that is LX. I joined LX back in uh, 2020 and uh, this group has helped me a lot. Before I joined it I was unemployed and it was just two weeks uh, when I was uh, fired from my job so I was squaring job boards for some employment. So I thought it was a place where I'm going to get employed, but uh, when I went for the interview, it was not that way. So I was like uh, fed up with it. But during the day when we had a launching session, it's called Karibu Session, we we're being welcomed uh, into the program. I resonated with the mission that the program had for the youth in Africa. The program was very extensive and it was a purpose to help the youths to grow career-wise and help them advance their careers. So that very day, uh, when we were being oriented by Fred, uh, I felt like I've uh, pressed the start button in my life because I felt like I was not doing the right thing uh, to upskill my career because after campus, I had a lot of visions 
to be a better person in the society but i did not know how so that very day i resonated with alex because they used a certain uh, phrase that says when you're given one hour to cut a tree you'll spend 45 minutes you know to sharpen your axe so i i realized that i was not sharpening my axe but was uh, moving to the direction of just applying jobs without upskilling myself. So that day it resonated with me and I joined Alex and I, I was immersed in it all and I found a very favorite group. Uh, it's a team of fellows that are ready to help and they're ready to uh, hold your hands and move with you. My name is Penina Gidenji. I am a finance professional. I studied my commerce at KCA University and I came across the ALX program through one of my mentors. And what drew me to ALX is that they have this regime of wanting to promote young talent in Africa. And that really resonated with me and I joined the program. So my journey so far has been nothing short of amazing. I have gained great insights about myself. I have been empowered with skills that I'm going to use in my financial journey. I am more self-aware about how I want to navigate my career. I am definitely more confident in how I pursue tasks in the office and how I navigate myself and how I conduct myself in public. It has been challenging. I won't lie, it does uh, challenge your way of thinking. ALX changed my way of thinking. It definitely challenges me to do new and hard things. I'd say that the hard thing for me has been showing up authentically and consistently doing the course. It will be difficult balancing your personal life and also the program, but it's definitely worth it in the end. And I think that it's a source of inspiration to myself and to other people who also look up to me. Just having the backing of such an organization gives me more confidence to be who I want to be in the future in finance. and. It's just a really good empowerment and elevating process.